On October 23, 2015, Southern California Gas Company discovered that its SS-25 well at Aliso Canyon had a gas leak. Several attempts to kill the well were not successful, and the leak continued for 111 days until a relief well was able to intersect and bring SS-25 under control. This film, based on the Blade RCA report, outlines the chain of events that led to the SS-25 failure and the uncontrolled hydrocarbon release. Aliso Canyon was an oil field until the early 1970s, when the field was purchased by SoCal Gas and converted into a gas storage facility. The purpose of the gas storage facility was to ensure natural gas availability to meet variable demand throughout the year for Southern California customers. SS-25 was one of about 117 wells. It was originally drilled in 1953 and served as an oil producer until 1973. The production casing was cemented to approximately 7,000 feet, and the surface casing was supposed to be cemented to the surface at the time of the original well construction in 1954. In 1973, the oil well was converted to a gas storage well. During injection and withdrawal, gas flowed through both tubing and casing. Shallow groundwater was detected around the 11 and 3 quarter inch casing above 440 feet. There was groundwater below 900 feet that accessed and occupied the B annulus. Rain is seasonal, and the water level in the B annulus changed due to precipitation and the presence of fracture and faults. Microbial activity in the water caused corrosion in the outer diameter of the 7-inch production casing, a process that started many years ago. Hydrocarbon gas with CO2 seeped through some of the 7-inch casing connections. CO2 likely was a nutrient for the microbes. The shallow groundwater corroded the outer diameter of the exposed surface casing. The SS-25 well was operating in injection mode the morning of October 23, 2015. The thinned location at the 892-foot depth could not withstand the pressure inside the casing. After the local bulging, the corroded location suffered an axial rupture. The gas escaping from the 7-inch rupture caused the outside diameter corrosion on the 11 and 3 quarter inch to fail which then caused the gas to escape to the sides of the hill and onto the surface. Due to gas expansion, the temperature in the region local to the 7-inch rupture plummeted. Material toughness reduced, which then resulted in a circumferential parting failure that happened within hours of the axial rupture. The leak was discovered on October 23, 2015, at 3.15 p.m. The well was shut in at 3.30 p.m. By noon, October 24th, the first kill was attempted. A well control company was mobilized on October 25th, 2015. On November 6th, the well was de-iced. The second kill attempt was undertaken on November 13th. Now it appeared to be a conventional well blowout. The third kill attempt was on November 15th, and the fourth kill attempt was on November 18th. Both kills were similar in terms of fluid density, barite pills, and barrels per minute. The fifth kill attempt was on November 24th, and the sixth kill attempt was on November 25th. Again, the kill attempts were similar. Hundreds of barrels of various fluids were pumped in each case. A higher density fluid at a higher pump rate could have killed the well for each of these kill attempts. The final kill attempt, number seven, was on December 22, 2015. This was the first time the density was changed substantially and the well briefly appeared to be under control. However, operational issues compromised this attempt and the well continued to flow. Relief well drilling started on December 4, 2015. On February 11, 2016, the relief well intersected the failed well and stopped the leak. SS-25 was permanently sealed. The root cause analysis of the uncontrolled hydrocarbon flow of around 6 billion cubic feet of gas was started on January 29, 2016. The work was data-driven, collected from SoCal gas and regulators, and very importantly, the actual physical evidence.
The failure causes are external microbial corrosion damaged the casing and resulted in the axial rupture. This well could have been successfully killed with heavier kill fluid at higher flow rate. The root causes are risk assessments were not conducted to assess the wells for integrity. Previous casing failures were never investigated. Casing wall thickness inspections were not required by regulations and were not routinely conducted in all wells. Well flow rate was underestimated for SS25 and kill modeling was never conducted prior to kill attempts 1 to 6. Well surveillance system did not exist at Aliso Canyon. The production casing was a single barrier. The current California regulations and current SoCal gas practices address most, if not all, of the root causes identified here. The details of the investigation are in the RCA report.